Tarot and Tapping Tuesday. I pulled three cards. We've got the Two of Coins, Cavalier of Cups, and the Emperor was upside down. Upside down card just meaning that there's opportunity for us to turn it right side up. So Two of Coins, um, you most likely have two opposing desires or things coming up in your life um, and you need to find balance between these two or choose to let one go. And then Cavalier of Cups, um, really you're very connected to your intuition, you are connected to your emotional side um, and you're probably more, you're leading with your heart versus your head in this situation. Um, so going back to kind of like two opposing things or, um, you know, again, it depends on what's going on in your specific life, but it could be that you're dating two men or two women and they're very different, but you like them both and you're trying to figure out which one to take to the next level. Just an example, but try to think about how this relates to your life, to opposing things or people or emotions. Um, but this is really saying that you are tapped into your intuition. So trust that. And then the emperor being upside down, I, I feel like this goes really well with what I posted yesterday about being um, fierce, like choosing to be fierce that you're unstoppable. You may not be feeling that completely right now, um, but the Cavalier of Cups is saying like, you should, you should trust your heart, trust your intuition, um, don't overthink things right now. So whatever you're going through, what? there go the dogs, um, just tap into your intuition and let your heart take the lead on this. So let's go ahead and tap on overthinking. So you may be overthinking this situation and it's not getting you anywhere. Um, and you're just kind of like going through the loop over and over again. And of course that's creating the neural pathway pattern and all of that. So let's try to break that now so you can make a decision. Wow, the dogs are feisty today. They're like knocking into things. Okay. Um, <laughs> It's a lot of energy from these cards. Um, so yeah, so let's tap into trusting your intuition and letting go of this overthinking that may be kind of getting in your way right now. Okay, so sitting up nice and straight, feeling your feet connected to the ground and feel free to close your eyes. I'll let you know when we're moving on to the next point and start on the side of the hand. Even though I feel like I'm overthinking right now, my mind is on this loop that is not doing me any good. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel like I'm overthinking this situation right now, and it's making me feel even more confused. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm overthinking right now and my brain cannot shut off, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Good, top of head, this overthinking. Eyebrow point. It's making it hard for me to make a decision right now. Side of eye. All this overthinking. Under eye. It's making me feel confused. Under nose. This overthinking. Chin point. My brain is on this 
constant loop. Collarbone, and it's not doing me any good. Underarm, this overthinking. Top of head. I choose to let these thoughts go. Eyebrow, because I can acknowledge that they're not helping me right now. Side of eye. I choose to lead with my heart. Under eye. I choose to trust my intuition. Under nose. I choose to let go of this overthinking. Chin point. I am releasing these thoughts. Collarbone. I'm choosing to make a decision. Underarm, a decision that is best for me. Rub the gamut point gently. Nice, easy breath. This was a quick one. I think the first sequence that, we, that was done, you wanna keep kind of repeating in that zone and like honing in on um, the overthinking and how that's feeling and and doing a few rounds around that and then bringing in the positive affirmations once you have that cognitive shift and it feels okay and you believe those words bring that in i hope this helps have a great week